to start seeds what I'm using are 98 cell flats and then coconut coir fiber plus vermiculite 50-50 mix this is the coconut coir and this Thermorock is the vermiculite and um, I get these from Peaceful Valley Farm and Garden. The first thing I do is to wash the coconut coir like four times to get the salt out of it. Ideally you have an EC or electrical conductivity meter and you can measure the electrical conductivity of the water coming off or parts per million. You want them to be really low and you'll never get down to tap water, your well water hopefully. But um, get it as low as you can. Wash it at least twice, preferably four times, and you should be good to go. Then mix the coconut fiber 50-50 with vermiculite, and you'll get something of this consistency. I like the brand of coconut coir that I have because it has these fibers in it so any coir that does is fine but I've had some others that are more like sawdust and those tend to bog down and don't let air penetrate through the soilless mix during germination so I like um, a coconut coir that has fibers in it so that you get good air penetration. Then what I do is to fill each flat and lift it about four inches and drop it onto the coconut coir or onto the wheelbarrow mix so that any air gaps in the mix are compacted but not very much and then I'll top it off just wiping it off by hand. Then I put one seed in each compartment and then I just very gently sprinkle straight vermiculite over the top of the seed. If you look at the baby just come up you'll see little fuzzy fibers that's not mold. If you see mold you want to get it out of there but the, the roots look like fuzzy mold and this is just a couple days after seeding so I think this is day morning of day three so two and a half days ago these seeds were planted and pretty much 100% germination and I'm sure there are some seeds that are going to come up that haven't popped up yet. So it's a little hard unless you really look down in there. Um, that's a good one where you can see the kind of fuzzy moldy root fiber stuff. Then. Um, after I do the vermiculite, what I do is I make up a batch of water and put it in a sprayer. And the water is just plain well water, pH adjusted. So for my well water, which is a little alkaline, I have just figured out that I need one milliliter of pH down in a gallon and a half of um, well water. And then I also add one, let's see, it's over here, a couple tablespoons of um, liquid humus, diatomic humus, so this one is from biodiversity. Basically a little humic acid um, in there. And for the pH down, I'm using advanced nutrients, not to say their brands anything, but it's just um, concentrated um, phosphoric acid. And um, the concentrate, because otherwise you're just buying a bunch of water. So that's what I'm using. And so I put the seeds in and then cover them gently with the vermiculite and then um, and the soilless mix is already damp but not soaking wet and then 
I spray the whole top with the uh, mix that I just showed you to get the top really damp and um, then in a day and I put a humidity dome over them that's right don't forget that and I spray the um, inside of the humidity dome these are dirty it's just basically to keep the humidity in it's not for sunlight as soon as the plants pop then I get them out so that they can start soaking up some sunlight and I just put them in places that have low intensity sun like way over there under the baby seedling table and in a day or two I'll spray them again with the same mix which I'm just getting ready to do this morning and then I'll bring them over here this will get morning sun and here I have a little shade cloth so it's filtered morning sun and then they can graduate up here in the table uh, the sunlight getting a little bit more intense there's still a black partial shade cloth and a white partial shade cloth and during the heat of the day the plastic film partial shade cloth and then they graduate to the neck cups and out to the tables and off to market so basically with the seeds just be sure that you wash the coconut coir several times with water you don't have to be fancy about it but you do have to do it and then um, the best topping for the seeds is just the vermiculite straight. You can see where you're putting it and um, it makes it easy to see when the babies come up. And then keep them damp but not wet. And ideally keep them around 68 to 70 degrees temperature. Um, don't let them get over 80 and that should do it all right well that's what's working at close to 100 percent over here and the ideal place for germination is under the table but do be aware some lettuce varieties need some light in order to germinate and the warmer the temperature the more light they may need so bringing them out like this in the early morning especially allows them to get some sunlight to help them germinate.